Have you ever driven by or walked past this small white building in Upper Town Astoria and wondered, what is that? It's a historic reconstruction of the 1852 U.S. Customs House, reconstructed in the early 1990s. So, what is a Customs House, and what is historic reconstruction? A Customs House is an office for government officials to oversee the importing and exporting of goods into and out of a country, including collection of duty on imported goods. A reconstruction is the depiction by means of new construction. The form features in detailing of a non-surviving structure for the purpose of replicating its appearance at a specific period of time and in its historic location. Is this a reconstruction of the first customs house built in Oregon? The answer is no. Oregon's first customs house was built in this area in 1849, but was destroyed by a fire in 1852. No photographs or drawings exist of the 1849 Customs House. The only known description is that it is very neat, plain, and of course, pretty. Without evidence of what the original Customs House looked like, it would not be a contender for historic reconstruction. This reconstruction was made to replicate the 1852 Customs House, of which we do have photos and descriptions. So who built the 1849 and 1852 Customs House in Astoria? General John O'Dare oversaw the construction. He was appointed as Collector of Customs for the District of Oregon and Inspector of Revenue for the Port of Astoria by President James K. Polk in August of 1848. In December of 1848, John, his wife Marianne, and six of their children left New Orleans on a steamship, heading to the west coast via the Isma of Panama. After more than three months of travel and changing ships in San Francisco, they arrived in Astoria. They moved into their home about a mile east of the main settlement of Astoria in late summer of 1849. The area around Adair's home and buildings became known as Adair's Astoria, Adairsville, or Upper Town. The more prominent Shively and McClure districts to the west became known as Lower Town. Until 1878, no roads connected Adair's Astoria to the Shively and McClure areas, and most travel between the two areas was across Scow Bay by boat. So how long was Adair's Customs House in use? Ongoing disagreement about the best location for the U.S. Customs Service Office was finally settled in 1861, when both of the Customs and Postal Services were moved to Lower Town. A large new stone fireproof Customs House and Post Office building was constructed in Central Astoria in 1873. It was later replaced by today's Post Office, which was completed in 1933. Having lost the Customs Service, Upper Town became less and less a commercial hub of Astoria. An 1866 article described Upper Astoria as a small, muddy place, occupied mostly by fur dealers, lumbermen, and fishermen. During the 1800s, Upper Town was home to many residences, businesses, a mill, canneries, a tannery, and brewery, but the old Custom House building was abandoned and neglected. There was a small effort to save the building as a relic of U.S. history, but unfortunately the building was demolished in 1901. Between 1992 and 1994, an authentic reconstruction was built to commemorate the bicentennial of the U.S. Customs Service and was funded by a grant by the Federal General Service Administration. The reconstruction was completed using methods, tools, and materials similar to those of 1852 and was built by Greg Wilson, Linda Whitehead, and Alan Nelson, as well as historic building consultant John Goodenberger and a committee of preservation-minded community leaders. Customs House Park is owned by the City of Astoria, and Lower Columbia Preservation Society has agreed to maintain and improve the site for the benefit of the general public. Now, over 25 years old, the reconstruction is due for restoration of its windows, siding, and roof. Clatsop Community College preservation students are helping with the restoration, learning about building assessment and recordation, woodworking techniques, rot repair, window restoration, and more. To learn more, please visit lcpsociety.org slash customs house.